we got a little t t tidbit here, a little tantalizing tidbit for the folks at home, and that is when people have asked us about the evolution of languages and what language they should use, we've always had to give them a very generic answer. You know, you use what's good for you, you use what's best, you use whatever's good for the job. But we actually have some hard stats out from a very popular development community, GitHub, on what are the most popular languages that they use. Now, Anthony, if you can go ahead and jump over to this graph. This, this is an interesting graph. This shows you the language trends on GitHub over the last couple of years. This is data back from 2008. Now, uh, let's, let's, let's look at what we see here. First of all, Ruby started off very popular, but that's because it had Ruby on Rails. It, it had the, held the top rank for about four years before it dropped down to the third ranked language just behind Java and JavaScript. But it's, by all means, it's still a very popular language, a very popular programming language for projects. We also see that JavaScript has been relatively stable. You may not expect that. It started at second in 2008, and it stayed there for about four years before it jumped to first in 2013. So the most popular language on GitHub right now is JavaScript. Go figure that. Uh, let's also look at Java. Java is, is really the success story in GitHub. It has had a meteoric rise since 2008. It started at, at number seven. Then it you know, jumped up to number five. It, it did a quick little you know, hop. Then it jumped up to third in 2012, to second in 2014. And uh, all the data that we have now is it's probably going to take over. Oh, Patrick, you, you actually had a, a, an idea about why that's happening. Well, it's uh, because it's used on Android. Android, right, exactly. So Android developers are, uh, I mean, even though, it, which is strange because we, we know that all the money is made on iOS programming, but evidently there's a lot of people who want to do Java programming uh, for Android uh, OS. Yeah. So well, you're not going to do web programming in Java anymore. No, so. prob no. Not. Although, Lou, it, it's interesting that we haven't found a zero-day vulnerability in Java, not JavaScript, Java, since 2013. So it's a relatively mature language, and it's a relatively secure language, uh, unless you count uh, like stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're doing. They, you know, Oracle's doing a good job with it. You got to remember, though, Android's a different version of Java that runs under the hood. Uh, right. Dalbuk for virtual machines is a little different than the normal Java virtual machine. So it's all dependent on what Google's doing. So Google obviously is doing a really good job of making sure there's no vulnerabilities in that runtime. So that's good. Um, and JavaScript, obviously, the push for all web apps with PhoneGap and all these other things to build an actual native application on your phone and stuff in JavaScript is really being pushed forward so you can kind of write once and deploy anywhere kind of thing. Right. And it should be noted that Java, as you see, being used for Android development, it, it does link back to Oracle, but... Google's also including a lot of other packages that you can address. That's just that's part of the of the SDK. That's part of the development kit that you're going to get if you start developing for Java. Right.